Hello, welcome to Court of the Rings on twitch.tv slash LotraStream. I'm your community manager, Cordovan. I'll be with you for the next hour, hanging out, having some fun. I'll be in-game in a little bit, and we're going to keep running through the Kindred of the Coin quest line. I've also got news about big player event tonight, big player event next weekend. Uh, not this upcoming weekend, but the one after. And I'll have the latest news about Angmar and Mordor, or Legendary Dairy Worlds, uh, update 41. A little bit of news about uh, the sales for the week and the bonuses happening. It's going to be a bit of a calendar show as well, because I do have some tentative dates for most of the things above. So, there you are. Yeah, I do. It's a USB-C phone. It's my first phone that doesn't actually have a headphone plug. And uh, I, I'm used to just sort of quick uh, pulling out a pair of headphones and plugging them in to do a sound check. It ain't working. So, all right, uh, let's, uh, let's get to the news. So the first thing I want to bring up is our calendar of, of events, sort of what are we doing here in the next couple of weeks related to all the big bullet points of the things we've been talking about and previewing on Bullroar and more. So let's uh, do that one right away. The first thing I would say is that we are currently targeting the end of the month for the release of Update 41. That would mean uh, July 31st is a tentative release date for Update 41. The day after, on August 1st, we're currently planning to have our first hard tack crafting event. So both of those things are going to be happening starting that Wednesday and that Thursday. More tentatively, but still currently planned for 731, is the release of Angmar and Mordor. Now that is more tentative than the release of Update 41. They don't need to be together. And they may not. Uh, it, it may end up being that the start of Angmar and Mordor gets pushed maybe a, a week, maybe a couple weeks. It'll be released when we're ready. But currently, we're targeting the end of the month for the release of all this stuff. That would be Update 41, the launch of our two new Legendary Worlds, and then the day after, having the Hard Attack crafting event. Uh, so... Stay tuned for the launch of Angmar and Mortar. What we'll do is get out a formal announcement once we know for sure what the release day for the launch for Legendary Worlds will be. That'll give you an opportunity to call in sick that day, grab your names, you know, do all the things you like to do uh, at the start of a new Legendary World for the Lord of the Rings Online. I myself am doing a ton of writing. This whole week has been basically nothing but writing about Lotro related things because I'm working not just on the Update 41 release notes, but also a page about the hardtack crafting event, uh, a page about the new hobby, birding, that'll be coming to Lotro in Update 41 as well. We'll have a page on the launch of the Legendary Worlds. Um, and then, uh, as was spotted on Bullroar, recently. We've got a new supporter pack in the works as well, and I've got a page that I'm working on related to that. So I, I can't spoil the supporter pack, though, today. But it's something that we're working on here for the near future. So so that is the really the, the main bit of news. I got it done in the first couple of minutes. The main bit of news being that we're targeting 731, uh, July 31st, for the, re the release of Update 41. And then the start of the hardtack crafting event the day after on August 1st. And then we're also tentatively planning to release Angmar and Mordor uh, at the end of the month as well. Although that is fairly tentative at this point and may end up moving uh, a little bit out. So, but we'll have, we'll let you know for sure in the next week or so. Programming note, however, that I will not be here next Friday. Uh, I, I'm taking a little bit of PTO next week. So... I will not be here next Friday for the show. No, no Court of the Rings next Friday. Uh, Tellurian, I don't get... I uh, Yes, is the answer. There will be an article about Mordor and Angmar. Um, and it'll have some information about, you know, what the legendary world is. And uh, also tell you about conceptually the Veil of the Nine mechanic on the worlds. We're not getting into too many spoiler details as to how the combat mechanic works with ring rates and the lesser rings of power that have been previewed on the Mordor stress test, but 
uh, there will be a general information about that. I don't currently have a listing of all the available rewards. The way I currently have it written is the kinds of rewards that you'll get and a little bit about the mechanics of how you'll acquire said rewards. But I wouldn't expect to see a lot of images and formal names of the rewards. We want you to find them and experience them yourself on the Legendary World. Uh, Nenorus, do I not have Myrtle Mint on the public event schedule on Lotro.com? I will have to check. Myrtle uh, arrives approximately. I do not. So I currently have Rowan arriving at, no, Filbert Fig arriving about August 21st. So uh, I, can, I can check something here, maybe. See if I can find something. The question is ultimately, when is Myrtle Mint leaving? I don't know that I know that right now. Looks like I may not be accurate on the event schedule, so I'll have to take a look. Maybe I'll have to just take a look at that uh, after the show and see what I can do. I am not. I am not seeing what I was hoping to see immediately. Unfortunately, oh, here we go. Open this. Uh, Telerian, that is my understanding, is that our next supporter pack will be a limited time offer. We'll have more information about it when we get a little bit closer to it. Okay. Let me go take a look at what we've got for Myrtle Mint. So I have Myrtle arriving on the current list. Fairly early. So Myrtle has been here for a while, is that correct? And yeah, it looks like around August 21st is when Filbert Fig is set to arrive, and I'm not seeing anything to differentiate from that. So I, I would say at this point it looks like it'll be, Myrtle will stick around until somewhere in a, kind of <coughs> mid-late August. Uh, I have do not specifically know, uh, Missy, about your question about the status of the reward track before Moria. It'll be whatever it currently is on Treebe Treebeard and uh, prior to that Shadow Facts. So it'll be whatever that was. I'm not sure whether or not that appeared or when the reward track appears, but my guess would be with Moria. So, because that's when the legendary items appear. So my guess would be the answer is no. Uh, that the reward track will debut with its associated content, that being Moria. But I don't actually know if that's true or not. All right. Well, uh, so that's that's the news. Uh, let's go into just a little bit of community news because there are a couple of big events happening. First one I want to call out is happening tonight, starting at 8 o'clock Eastern uh, on Crick Hollow. We have got a, a fundraising event to help someone, a player in the game who experienced a difficult situation. Uh, they have a partner that is in need of rehabilitation. And so a whole bunch of live streamers and others, uh, supporters, are doing a walk. Uh, tonight. That starts at 8 o'clock Eastern on Crick Hollow. It also starts on Twitch. 
because there's a whole bunch of streamers that are going to be involved in this. Uh, Aubrey the Weird One, Adiel Velathorn, uh, I mean, just a whole bunch. Uh, up to and including uh, Lotro Stream as well. So that's going to be happening tonight. Some of the start times are going to depend on the streamer. But there's a website that I'm going to just real quick drop in chat that's a Linktree website. And uh, that'll get you uh, all the links you might want for tonight in terms of who's streaming what and what have you. There's also a thread on the forums about it. Uh, let me see if I can quick call that up. Uh, unfortunately, the forum thread is not rendering the graphic at the moment. There is a nice graphic, but I'm not seeing it on my game client or on my client here. See that, that walk to Rivendell? But, uh, walk to Rivendell for Sally, Crick Hollow tonight, starting at the Kellendim docks at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So, that's going to be uh, going to be a big, fun community event tonight, raising money for a good cause, and, uh, you know, uh, good time will be had by everyone. The other thing I wanted to call out is that next weekend, we have got Weatherstock. So, that'll be... Saturday, July 27th, uh, starting at noon Eastern, basically running running all through into the evening, I would expect. And that'll be on Langerval again at Weathertop. Someone's available by request, and they even have their own Discord server. Uh, I'm going to be giving them, like usual, a bunch of codes to give away for audience members and band members and things like that. I'll be doing that later today, but that's Weatherstock, 16, 16 years of Weatherstock, and uh, this one's going to be on July 27th, so not this Saturday, but the Saturday after that. Yeah, I know Discord recently, uh, recently had something where they, they're no longer just like permanently displaying images or something like that, but... All right. Well, uh, that's where we are then. So let me head in game and uh, I'll, we'll just get to some questing here while I answer some questions and what have you. I think I pretty much covered it though. I was taking a, little, a look at birding this week for the guide and uh, it's coming together really nicely. So um, where, where am I at in terms of my story here? That's that. Okay, Tales of the Kindred. Uh, Gilded Veneer Part 2. Collect clear and straightforward records from smugglers. Oh yeah, that's right. So I'm uh, fighting smugglers in this area to collect some records on my way over. Uh, let me turn up my volume briefly. And then we'll get uh, to whatever people want to talk about inside of the game. That's right, there is also a Housing Week in Middle Earth contest by D and Co. doing the U. And uh, there's a link in the chat where you can take a look at, at uh, what's up there. Also, Druid's Fire is streaming the Weatherstock event uh, per usual this next weekend, so, or a week from this weekend. I myself am going to be out that day. Uh, Weatherstock tends to fall on a particularly busy weekend for me, so I, I typically can't attend it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stop by the walk for Sally either tonight. Although if uh, if I'm not if I'm able to log in at around eight o'clock, I will do, endeavor to do so and have Cordovan stop by for All right, uh, you want some help? I never know whether I should help or not. Looks like they got it covered. All right. But, uh, so birding is something that has not, to date, been able to be seen on Bullroar. Uh, you've seen the collections panel, and you've, you've seen the NPC and things like that, but not the actual usage of the birding skill, and that should be coming soon. I don't... 
it might be too early to announce it at this point, but my intention, the our intention is to have a Mordor preview next week, potentially as soon as Monday. And what that would be for would be to have a Mordor preview that isn't specifically a stress test, that is, is more normal in scope, to test the ring wraith mechanic with a level cap of 50, with all the mechanics in place and what have you. And so that's our goal for next week, is to have that final Mordor preview. In that preview, however, because it'll be an updated version of the build, we will have, in general, birding functional for the preview. So this should be your chance to take a look at how birding actually works. Uh, maybe if you've got... Um, If you're a guide writer or something like that, you'll want to pay attention to next week's preview as well. Uh, but birding is coming together pretty nicely, and, and it was uh, fun to put together the guide for it this week. Yes, I would expect to see, someone is saying in chat, I would expect to see the, the regular videos and what have you about this such this stuff as well. Alright, it looks like I might need to clear out or get to a somewhat different area here to find what I'm looking for. You know what, let's head up. Uh, birding will be available in many zones, but not globally. Uh, you'll be, if you look at the collections panel, it'll actually tell you where the birds could be located. But the idea is that um, in all the main worlds, or in most of the big worlds, there's a place to go. So uh, I could actually get you a full list, since I did uh, work on that guide this week. Let me call that up quick. It'll also be stated on the NPC dialogue when you first interact with the NPC. Okay. It'll be possible. This is not alphabetized yet. Forakel, Angmar, Eridluin, Evendim, North Downs, Misty Mountains, The Shire, Breland, Lonelands, Cardalon, Shrollshaws, Swanfleet, Region, Enidwaith, and Duneland. That's where the birds will be able to be found at launch. Yeah, I think that's correct. Basically, area door. Uh, typically, Lyra 1986, the answer to questions of, like, when will associated skirmishes, instances, big battles, and what have you, um, arrive on a legendary world is when the content reaches that piece of content that it debuted in. Uh, so, um... In the case of Epic Battles, it'll arrive with the associated content of Epic Battles. Even if afterwards we lowered the level range to engage with it to a lower level. The unlock mechanic is associated with the content, not the um, level range. There are maybe a few exceptions to that. but. My understanding is we basically align it with the content rather than the level range in almost all cases. I'm trying to get away. I'm trying to find some rogues and such, rather than, uh, oh, 
Here's a smuggler. All right. Uh, Titan Metal wants to know if there will be mods from Russia uh, when we have an official look for Discord. I don't know that I have specifically planned to have people from Russia, but I think the answer to that will be yes if anyone from Russia applies to be a moderator and it seems qualified and suitable for said role. The goal is to have volunteer moderators who can cover as much of a swath of a 24-7 period as we can make happen. Uh, that's, but at the same time, we're not doing schedules on that because everyone's volunteering. Or a volunteer so um, I don't like have a specific goal for each individual country we definitely don't support the Russian language in the discord um, it will be English French German is the plan but I would certainly love to have someone geolocated um, in Russia who's interested because they're gonna be up while I'm asleep <laughs> and that's sort of the point I will say that uh, the timing of the Discord remains up in the air. I don't know exactly when it's going to go live for Lord of the Rings Online. The goal is to have it done in time for the launch of the expansion. Uh, and I'm starting with Dungeons & Dragons Online first, uh, because they have an expansion coming up here fairly soon, uh, mid-August. And I need to get their volunteer mod stuff taken care of first. Uh, one thing, though, is that all that writing I just described this week is uh, making it difficult. Okay. So, oh, bring the confused records to Harmalock. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just do that then. Uh, our date is tentatively set for around the end of the month, potentially something like July 31st, but it's a very tentative date at this point. So ultimately, whether we'll announce when the formal release date is for Angmar and Mordor, but it could potentially be as soon as July 31st. Uh, Before the Shadow will be part of Angmar and Mordor for sure. Harmalak studies the confused records you recovered from the smugglers in Takhtar. She looks up at you with disappointment. Nothing here connects obviously enough to Sharula, but this does not change the fact she's keeping something from us. It simply means she's better at hiding it than she appeared. Perhaps, should you darken her door unannounced, any enshrouded secrets might come to light. Earlier she was expecting an emissary from me, but now she is not. Let us see what Sharula does when you make an unheralded call. She will not be prepared for you and may let something up. Okay, and if I recall, that is... Uh... 
Yeah, I love the color uh, in Umbar very much. I'll do... The design work is excellent, isn't it? This is going to go away with the next release as well. <laughs> we've had uh, we've had a particularly long period of Yuletide Hobbit gifts this summer, have we not? Oh, that's actually real close. All right. Forgive this servant's confusion, but the tithe is not yet ready. Is Lady Harmalak upset with us? So oh, no. Help, we've done nothing to draw her ire. We assure Zakaz that as long as he speaks honestly and has nothing to hide from the kindred, Harmalak will treat him and the Lady of the House fairly. I, 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 he says, clearly grappling with some unsaid worry. <laughs> did I really roll a hundred? <laughs> I did. Alright, so I got a minor potion of power, 100 virtue XP, 2,000, oh, bunch of figments of splendor? Or no, that was from the, that was from the turn in. I, did, I didn't actually pay attention to what I got in my Yuletide gifts, but it looks, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. I mean, I'll take that. Keepers. I beg your kind discretion, lest my ladies... Oh, you're right. I turned off my camera. Okay, sorry. There we go. Hello. We know Azagath's Sea Shadow has apparently revealed himself a traitor to the Kindred. I believe Lady Sharula's taken in with a crowd of supporters who desire he be reinstated to a position of power. She keeps a second secret residence in Umbar Mach, where she meets with these loyalists and plots to overthrow the remaining members of the kindred, including Lady Harmalak. I can keep silent no longer. The entrance to her secret residence is in Takhtar, south of the meeting hall stairs. Please, my friend, show her mercy. She has been led astray by the venomous whispers of those who follow Azagoth. I know she will repent. Okay. Well, I'm here. I should probably take care of that wayward wager. Maybe deal with unlocking the trade. Uh, 
Toughs aren't quite so upstart now, are they? So uh, if all these things happen on the 31st, it's going to be quite the day, is it not? Um, it, it just so happens that the 31st is also uh, my birthday. Uh, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I may end up doing like some kind of a birthday stream from, uh, from Lotro, either Mortar Angmar or uh, perhaps just update 41 do some bird watching and things. I haven't really decided yet. Alright, so now we're heading back into the sewers, although I could check out... which was that one? There we go. The unlocking trade. Uh, Tay test the lock on the door to the northeast of the Grand Market by the Stable Master. Maybe I will do that one real quick here. Clearing out some quests from the quest journal. Okay, well I have more locks to find, so let's uh, go to the tunnels here, and uh, then figure out where we want to go to get to uh, Takadar. I don't have a birthday hat. I don't I don't know if I want a birthday hat. There we go. We're on Doctar. That was easy. Alright. And our NPC is towards the center here. We also have stolen mementos and uh, spousal stripes. So let's take care of that. for Rashawn. Umba is a free city at last.
Okay. There he is. Okay. I might know that name. And I might even know the armor. I have recently come into possession of a many great pieces of treasure. I hardly know what to do with them. I am no grave robber. And I thank you for warning me away. Did this Golkas family member tell you the location of the tomb? No, of course not. I must find a way to express my apology and return the armor without being noticed. Please bestow some respect to the slain ancestor on my behalf. If you toss them into the sea, near the fisher fold, find some coins. It is our way. Okay. Uh, can you explain, uh, Titan, a little bit more about what you're asking for? Um, typically, the Lotro stores the interface by which you would make such purchases rather than through Steam. So I am not finding... the NPC I'm supposed to be. Hmm. Well, maybe I will go instead to continue our mission. I just figured while I was here... Maybe I would do that look-see, but I'm not seeing it. So instead, let's move over to the secret hideout. So that we can do just basically by going out. Uh, we currently have the legendary worlds arriving uh, tentatively t around the end of the month. So it could be as soon as July 31st. Uh, may end up being, uh, you know, within a few weeks or so after that. But we'll have more information about their exact timing once we know. Um, we are working on getting them ready to release, and we have a tentative date set for the end of the month. And yes, should be fun. Uh, I'll be I'll be on stream at least for a little while from from Angmar and Mortar. I think. I don't know, you know, how much I'm gonna do, but uh, for a while at least, as long as it's the new hotness, let's uh, let's play the new hotness, huh? So. At the very least, I want to see some ring wraithing, if possible on stream. Should be pretty fun. 
Sharula's secret residence is a hideout for supporters of Azagath Sea Shadow. don't know Jetrith quite what you're asking about. I guess there's some NPC that you can hear talking perhaps further than they ought. Sounds like a maybe something to bug report. Unless it's just part of the general crowd noise or something maybe. There's a lot of this. Okay. Oh, it's, so it's like a persistent effect is what you're reporting. Okay, well that sounds uh, that sounds like a problem. A persistent vocal effect. I have not noticed it myself, but. Uh, the answer as to when we tentatively plan to launch Mortar and Angmar is perhaps as soon as July 31st. We'll have more information as we get closer to it. We'll announce a formal release date soon. But it could... We're currently targeting the end of the month to release both Angmar and Mordor, along with Update 41. Update 41 is pretty solid in terms of release date at this point. Angmar and Mortar less so, but uh, that's what we're currently working on. And then the Hard Tat crafting event, it would be starting on August 1st on our current schedule. It's really bothering me that I cannot find this one person I'm supposed to see. Have Hanut. Where are you? Uh, what is the crafting event? That's the hard tack crafting event. Uh, when update 41 goes live and August 1st rolls around, uh, you'll be able to find a NPC near Thorin's Gates, and that NPC will talk to you about the event and be the reward vendor as well. You'll go in through a door there and then you'll see the event itself. And the event itself um, basically has you know, like three different portions to it depending on what role you want to play. Cooks and prospectors have each of their own roles and then there's a general role for anyone that helps support the mechanic. So essentially one group is looking for mushrooms to collect uh, that fill up crates. The next group is going to be putting them together to do different things and delivering them to tables uh, around sneaky hobbits. And uh, there, there's just a bunch of mechanics with it. And it's the hard attack crafting event. And uh, yeah, it's coming here with update 41. So. Get my bearings. It's a cooperative event in, you know, in some ways the Forester crafting event is a competitive event, although everyone gets something. But uh, 
the hardtack event is a deliberately cooperative event. So everyone's working together to make things happen. And the things you do benefit everyone else. I have a guide I'm going to be writing for the event in the near future. Uh, it'll be re released with update 41. But we actually have a stream from a couple of weeks ago that goes into detail about how it works so you can actually see it get previewed on Bullroar if you're interested. News of your perilous encounter and Sharula's treachery fast reached Darlaja. It is precisely as I believed it to be. There are treacherous forces arrayed against us and against the city. Osgoth has fled, but his supporters remain and they can do us harm. Koltek faced his own opponent, but Sekta was a single foe. My opponents endanger all of Umbar Baharbel. Stampion, you will help me root them out and end their villainy. But I must prepare and make my plans. When you next return, we will learn the extent of Sharula's treacherous, traitorous reach. She may not be the only member of her class whose wealth is a mask for corruption beneath. A gilded veneer on something distasteful. Until then, keep watch. The shadow cast by Azekath has grown long in the city and beneath it. The corruption might run deep, but we shall remain composed for the public. Go to the Swain's Guild Hall and retrieve some swords. Do I think I'm actually... Okay. At one point I thought it was actually uh, near the Swain's Hall. is in yeah so that's going to be in Oh yeah, okay, it is an Umbar here. Yeah, okay, oh, okay, okay. So I just need to head down there then. All right. Yes, yeah, so mechanically the legendary worlds operate very similarly to the regular game worlds in terms of things like what systems are available, what classes you can play, that kind of thing. So, modern trait trees are the way they were. It's not a classic server in the sense that um, you're playing a 2000 version, a 2007 version of the game or something like that. It's, it's the modern game with a progressive release cadence. If you want to see a little bit about what we've done historically as well, um, there is the... Oh, well... Drop the coins into the sea. Well, let me just do that real quick. Okay. Uh, Lutcher.com slash legendary, I think, is our Earl on that.
think. So on Mordor, I'm going to have a somewhat significant ping, right? Because Mordor is a European located data center. So it's going to be, uh, for me and Boston, a little bit like, you know, current European players uh, on the U.S. worlds, so. I don't know how streamworthy it's going to be. I mean, it wasn't too bad when I was doing the Mordor stress test. I think I had a ping rate of 100 and something, low 100 something. But, in general, I want to play on the regular ping world, so it'll either be Angmar then, or um, something like that. Just gonna fast travel for the sake of speed. But I could certainly play on Mortar enough to to do some stuff. And it might be fun to have uh, an official Cordovan visit as well at some point here soon. These swords seem well made, but are they really any better than the ones already wielded by Lady Harmalock's personal guard? The only difference I could see is these are shinier. What is it? You have collected the swords I commissioned from the Swain's Guildhall? Good. It was a costly order, but the price of security is a price I will not balk at. Not when treachery is taken root and beneath it. Foes of the city will be dealt with. Hush. Now that my guardsmen are better equipped, they will apprehend Sharula and bring her to me. No, you don't need to wait. I have something else for you. I believe some of Sharula's associates are vendors in the market of Keb Hanut beneath the city. Speak to these merchants and determine their loyalties if you can. It may be they will let something slip that will connect them to Shrilla or Azagath. If anyone asks you to lend your aid to them, I suggest you do. They may reveal their true hearts to you in a moment of gratitude. Alright, so we're going back to uh, Keb Hanut. Uh, yes, Snuggle Bunsies. Uh, I have stated uh, probably five or six times uh, so far during the stream. It's the question of the day, which is totally cool. Uh, our tentative date for the release of Angmar and Mordor could be as soon as July 31st. Uh, we'll have a formal release date uh, very soon. But uh, we're currently tracking the end of the month for release. And we'll let you know more formally once we know more. Once the final work we have to do is done.
Yep, there's a floof. Hello. Fair winds to you. Uh, we are talking to Deere. And at what cost to me do these kind favors arrive? The Golden Queen never does anything for free. I will not be in her debt, not for any sum. Nothing needed, nothing desired, uh, nothing hoped. I do not wish to draw the attention of the Golden Queen, lest she take offense at me and send me to the Gales or worse. So, uh, mostly they're like, ah, they, nope, we're good. We're, we're totally, yep, all good. No problem. If I ever needed a favor of Marmela, Golden Hand, have her douse me in water and feast my body towards the sea. Pit. Great. All right. Well, I think honestly, at that, at this point, probably we're going to call the show, and uh, I'll not be here next week. So I will see you in two weeks. We'll have a whole lot happening that Friday. So I'm assuming that uh, whatever we're going to be doing will be related to that update 41. Maybe we'll do some birding. Uh, maybe we'll take part in the hardtack crafting event and or both. Maybe we'll be on uh, Mordor or Angmar. We'll have more information then in the coming weeks. So I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks so much for watching the show. The show is live on YouTube as well. If you are watching on YouTube, thanks so much for being here. Give us a like if you would. Like, Liking helps uh, spread the word of these videos through the YouTube algorithm. Subscribing gets the videos in your feed. Hope you have a great uh, day, everyone. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.